In life, you will encounter two kinds of people, those who inspire you and those who will bring you down. However, in the end, you'll thank both of them. Right now, I am going to be thanking the one who has inspired me. My brother and I, I guess you could say, were always close. I mean, we had this, in my eyes, a unique relationship, something that you don't normally see in a older brother and sister situation. But um, we never really talked to each other when we were younger. Like. There really wasn't any words spoken between it. It's kind of like we knew about something about each other. We knew what the other person was thinking or how the other person was feeling. And it worked. <laughs> um, my brother and I, we also, when we were younger, we used to wrestle. He always, I guess, thought of me as one of the boys. Um, I would always wrestle with him, I would play football with him, and I would be like his um, brother. My brother, um, even though we never really spoke, uh, he always would stick up for me and uh, protect me. When my sister was being a bully to me, um, he was the one when he was home that would stick up for me and kind of show her who's boss and when he was home she would leave me alone so in a way he's my hero i look up to him for that and now that we've gotten older i mean he's 20 he's moved out and i'm finishing up my senior year high school um we can't really wrestle or play football together um, so when we see each other, we basically talk, but it's like a really nice talk. Like he tells me what's going on with his life and I tell him what's going on with mine. He gives me his opinions and we start to get that relationship that is common in the brother and sister. And I really like that. I really like that we can communicate and I can talk to him without having to worry about judgment, I guess. And um, it's really nice. The one thing I really like about my brother is that he's honest. You ask him a question and either he'll be honest or he'll make a joke about it. And um, with him being honest, it has helped me see what's I guess wrong in my life, all the bad decisions I've made. Uh, he's helped me see what good I can do and who I am. He's helped me see that I can be who I want to be and not have to worry about what other people say. He's my brother, and I love him for that. My brother Blaine is now 20 years old, and he has two jobs. Um, one job, he works at the hospital uh, as a transporter. He transports people to and from CAT scans, and he also helps out nurses and all that fun stuff. And he's also... Um, he works at the fire department, but he's in training for being an EMT. So, I guess you could say he's always wanted to help people. And it's just, it just makes you want to be him even more. Growing up, I guess you could say my family was like any normal family. I mean, we had our disputes. Um, we had our really good moments. And, but there was always something missing and uh, it turned out to be, uh, I guess you could say communication in a way. Um, it led us to you know, grow apart but then now we're close again. Um, my brother was always the <laughs> clown of the family, always the one to lift everyone's spirit up and make everyone happy. He was always the one where uh, 
you just couldn't go a day without laughing at him or with him. Um, he was just, he's just really great. And I don't know how the family would. I never got to really thank my brother for what he's done for me and what he showed me. And I guess this video would be a way of showing him how grateful I am for what he's done. Blaine, you've you've helped me through everything. Um, it may not seem like you've helped me, but you have. I mean, you were there for me when Adrian was um, doing stuff, and you stood up for me, and it it was really nice because I didn't have power to stand up for myself or strength to fight her off. I didn't have the voice to speak for myself and you've really helped. You have. And everything you do makes me look up to you even more. The way you are. Um, like, you're really funny. <laughs> you make everyone in the room laugh and it's just it's really nice and I aspire to be you and without you I don't know who I'd be